I would be remiss if I didn't mention, and it's important to remember amidst the chaos of a triple threat match, that victory oh. can be achieved in many different ways, and that it's every man for himself. Ooh, nice Russian leg sweep. Uh-oh, here we go, here we go! Backbreaker! Oh, what a clothesline! Forcefully delivered. The Irish last kicker telling her opponents how she really feels. Oh, nasty impact. What's coming next? Taking their time. Ah, oh, punch to the gut. I'll take the wind right out of you. Ooh, earth-shattering spine buster. Choke slam. Landed. Braun Strowman is getting ready here. Incoming! I feel a little silly asking this, given that there is probably no good answer, but Corey, how do you beat Braun Strowman? Well, you're right, Cole. That is a silly question, because there's no blueprint when it comes to defeating a monster like Braun Strowman. The best advice I would give... I guess is try to chop him down to size. Incoming. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Braun Strowman. Byron Corey suggests trying to chop Braun Strowman down to size as a possible strategy against the monster among men. What do you think? Would that strategy work against Strowman? Well, it's certainly worth a shot. If you take out Strowman's legs, then it becomes a mat game. I mean, you're probably going to get crushed, but maybe not as badly. Beautiful technique. Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. God. As we've seen in the past, Extreme Rules matches create a type of hysteria that's difficult to describe, even more difficult to contain. It doesn't look like she's going to get her to tap here. I'd have to agree with what Byron's saying. When you've got action taking place all over the arena, complete with every weapon imaginable, it's not easy to keep up. Well, try, Cole. That's what you're getting paid for, isn't it? Oh, my goodness! Crushing it! Going to have a hard time stopping Becky when she's doing this. you got to believe this one's over! And right between the shoulder blades. He's always had the ability to take it up a notch. You know, guys, it's not uncommon for superstars to practice a little hyperbole when it comes to nicknames. For example, King Kong Bundy isn't really a walking condominium, but when it comes to Braun Strowman, there is no more fitting moniker than the monster. Look out, Braun Strowman is measuring. You're a Nagi! Man, oh man. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. That is exactly what Braun Strowman needed. Braun Strowman truly is a monster among men, as Byron pointed out. Even on the rare occasion he's outsized, I'd say it's Strowman's physical ferocity that makes him truly unstoppable. I couldn't agree more, Cole. Just go back and look at what Strowman was able to do against the taller Big Show. I mean, at one point, Strowman threw Show right through a steel cape. Braun Strowman is getting ready here. <laughs> but he's got to capitalize now. At 2016's Clash of Champions, it was another classic triple threat match for the Raw Women's Championship. It was Bailey versus the boss, Sasha Banks, versus the champion, Charlotte Flair. The match started out more like a singles match between the boss and the queen. Bailey learned very quickly it was every woman for herself.
looking for the exclamation point. The triple threat match for the Raw Women's Championship was another example. Oh, man, what a boot. Is it enough to put Becky away? That is exactly what Braun Strowman needed. Find the star. Strowman is taking no prisoners right here. Back in from the floor. He wants it one more time. Ring rattling. Can he finish the job? That'll readjust your spine. Of course, Extreme Rules matches have resulted in some gruesome moments over the years, and perhaps none was more gruesome than in 2012 when Brock Lesnar busted John Cena open following a vicious attack. Strowman is feeling it right here. Back now inside the ring. As Byron mentioned, Lesnar's attack on Cena in 2012 was without question gruesome. And furthermore, I don't think I've ever seen John Cena manhandled like he was on that night. Yeah, Lesnar definitely... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. No way. Yes way. Strowman is taking no prisoners right here. Vicious strike. When it comes to matches like this, I'd say the more innovative a superstar is when it comes to offense, the better chance they have of victory. Look out, Braun Strowman is measuring. He's always had the ability to take it up a notch. Incredible power. Wow, what a vertical suplex. I'm not sure how much he has left. Yeah, you don't see a slam like that very often. Byron, before you mention the strategy some superstars have implemented for competing in a triple threat match, and that includes having a finishing maneuver to put someone away for the one, two, three, and a submission to make them tap out. There are many superstars in WWE who can do just that, which makes them even more dangerous to opponents. The way I look at it is you can never have enough weapons at your disposal especially in something like a triple threat match. If a superstar can defeat someone by pinfall and submission, to me, they increase their chances of victory in a match where the odds are against them to begin with. I'll tell you, watching Extreme Rules matches make me happy. My in-ring days are behind me. You talk about a treacherous environment to compete in. Look out! Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. This is a treacherous match indeed, as Corey was saying. I can't even tell you how many times we've seen Extreme Rules matches result in broken bones, stitches, and even trips to a medical facility. Yeah, but despite all those inherent dangers, these superstars still willingly sign up for Extreme Rules matches. That's what amazes me the most. Strowman here. Oh, look at Strowman with an elevated triangle here. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Without a doubt, this is a volatile situation, guys. WWE superstars are dangerous without weapons. Then you put them in an environment like this, and who knows what you're liable to see. Chunk slam! Landed. You mentioned the triple threat rules earlier. Well, this match type became popular in the 1990s when it also went by names like the triangle match in WCW or a three-way dance in ECW. When we talk about a triple threat match, something else about the stipulations that's important to include is that the match can also be contested under elimination rules. For more than 25 years, triple threat style matches have been mainstays in sports entertainment. Triple threats are utilized to crown a champion, establish a number one contender, or just to settle a score between three superstars who can't get along. Triple threat matches have also been decided inside 15-foot-high steel cages with ladders and in tag team competition. Look, I'll give the Irish last kicker this. If time has proven anything, it's when Becky Lynch gets on a roll, her opponent better watch out. On a side note, I must admit, 
Lynch has some of the best arm drags since WWE Hall of Famer Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Braun Strowman is getting ready here. I'd like to add something to what you said about Becky Lynch, Corey. The Irish boy through the table! Is it enough to put Becky away? Does Becky Lynch even know where she is? And here's the monster along man, Corey. Look at the power! Oh, hellacious power slam. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Uh, yeah, there's no way this match isn't over after that one. A uh, running body press. I gotta say, watching this match, I'm definitely seeing similarities to the May 2016 Extreme Rules match where Roman Reigns defended his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against AJ Styles. Just incredible power. When it comes to brutality, I would agree with Michael Cole's assessment that this match shares similarities with the 2016 Reign Styles match. Though for me, the biggest story of that night came after the match. Not agree with that for sure. Here he goes. Is he done? No, he releases the holes. What in the world is he thinking? Does he not want to win? Real quick reminder, guys. There are no disqualifications and no countouts in this one. Anything is legal. Oh, and there are enough weapons under the ring to fill an armory. Harsh impact. I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to do next. As Corey mentioned, there's a treasure trove of weapons under the ring. Everything from kendo sticks to steel chairs to fire extinguishers. If you can think about it, it's probably under there. And when that's the case, it's not a matter of if you're going to get hurt. It's a matter of how badly you're going to get hurt. Bad uppercut. That'll cross some teeth. Look at this. If I could turn back the clock to April 17, 2017, Byron, that was the night Braun Strowman did one of the most remarkable things I've ever seen when he delivered a ring-crushing superplex to the mighty Big Show. Uh, ring-crushing doesn't even begin to explain it, Michael. The ring literally imploded on impact. It was unlike anything that I've ever seen before. Ooh, what impact. You guys mentioned how the ring collapsed when Strowman superplexed Big Show, which was amazing. But for me, the most amazing part was that Strowman was actually able to get momentum clearly in his corner. You're Is it enough to put Becky away? The monster among men picks his opponent up. Strowman slamming into the mat. This one is over. On the back of the neck, what's coming here? He landed him face first. Reverse choke slam. This one's over, guys. That is exactly what Braun Strowman needed. Strowman dodged that one. This might be it! Oh, my! Oh, no. She's up on that top turnbuckle. She won't be for long. 
Strowman is feeling it right here. In matches like this, guys, you learn very quickly which superstars have what it takes to truly get extreme. Bringing it back into the ring. And here's the monster along mid. Corey, look at the power. Oh, hellacious power slam. Here's his moment, Michael. That one was even more impressive than the first time we saw it. Regarding Corey's point about superstars having what it takes to get ex Strowman here completely establishing control. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Look at the height. What's coming next? Taking their time. Ah, oh, punch to the gut. I'll take the wind right out of you. Sledgehammer connects. That'll scramble your insides. The stakes were high in 2016's Backlash, where one woman would be crowned the first ever SmackDown Women's Champion in a six-pack elimination challenge match. The excitement level was off the charts, Michael. The WWE Universe saw Becky Lynch, Nikki Bella, Natalya, Carmella, Alexa Bliss, and Naomi compete to be the first woman to hold the magnificent prize. To elaborate on that backlash match, fellas. Oh my goodness! And here's the monster along man. Corey, look at the power! Hellacious power slam. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Ron Strowman from behind. Oh no, this is not gonna be good! He's always had big time slam. Vicious. That should do it. That'll knock you silly, that's for sure. Oh, look at this. Completely dominating. Game, set, match. This one is over. Needless to say, Brian, when it comes to Braun Strowman, you're simply not going to overpower him. With that in mind, though, what should the approach be when facing the monster among men? Uh, let's see. Hope you get lucky? No, in all seriousness, if you're facing Braun Strowman, you'll need all the luck in the world just to survive, let alone win. Byron, I think you should fight Braun. I don't think so. To Byron's point about needing luck against Braun Strowman, I'd say Kalisto used more than a little luck when he handed Strowman a rare loss in a dumpster match. Kalisto was certainly lucky on that night, Cole, and while the record books will show a win for the King of Flight, in reality, I'd say he walked away a loser after Strowman's post-match obliteration of him. Oh my God! Strowman here, completely establishing control. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. You can't win a match if you can't get air into your lungs. It's that simple. Braun Strowman wins. Braun Strowman wins. Here is your winner, Braun Strowman. A very decisive victory here tonight. I can honestly say that a win is a little more satisfying when you make your opponent tap out. Well, folks, it was a great effort by all three competitors. That cannot be denied.